What's up, guys? It's your girl Shade with Mayday Hauling. And today we're about to do something very exciting. I think it's exciting. And that is putting our stickers onto our truck. Now, you're supposed to use vinyl stickers, but um, I've seen people on YouTube use, oh, I thought these were vinyl stickers, but they're self adhesive stickers. Um, I got this, I got these right at Walmart. $2, you know, after tax and all that other stuff. But yeah, you can get these right at Walmart. It's self-adhesive stickers. Um, I thought I got the ones that were weatherproof because I did see someone's... Oh, this is a truck, y'all. Y'all see it? Yes, sir. Big truck. Um, I thought they were weatherproof, but it's not saying on the packaging that it is. However, it does say that you could put it on mailboxes, boats... So, if you could put on a boat, you know, boats are in the water. <laughs> so, hopefully this will be um, durable enough. But like I said, this is just uh, temporary anyway. Because in the future, I am going to get the vinyl. Because I also have um, a logo already and all the other stuff. Now, when it comes to uh, these stickers, you have to have them. Because you have to be uh, compliant with DLT. Or you can get in trouble. Now, you don't have to have your address or your company name up there, just your MC and DOT number. If you want to put your address and your company name, that's all, uh, you know, that's if you want to. But it's mandatory to have your DOT and your MC number. And I got a two-pack because you have to put them on both sides of your truck. So, um, this pack, these are three inches. So, um, that's pretty big. So, they're pretty big you see the van right there so yeah we're about to put these on these are self adhesive so they're not vinyl they're just like traditional stickers so yeah um i got two pack in total these are probably four bucks at walmart for both packages packaging for both uh packs after taxes they'll probably come up to like four bucks which is very cheap but um this is something if you don't want to wait online to order it because most likely for the vinyl stickers, you will have to order them. I personally could not find any in store. This is the only closest thing I could get to it. So yeah, we're about to install it. Install it now. Um, so yeah. Now you guys, when it comes to installing these stickers, you could put them, they have to just be noticeable for the DOT to see. So you could put them literally on the side of your truck or the door it's common to see them more so on the door so that's where i'm going to put them um i recommend you have a ruler or a tape measure and some duct tape to kind of people are looking at me to kind of measure out so it could be nice and straight but i don't have that or i do have that i just don't feel like looking for it but yeah so the first thing we're going to do is wipe the side of the truck because you got to make sure that's clean um I just got a wet, a wet paper towel and a dry paper towel to dry it off and stuff like that. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to wipe down the side of the truck. Look at that, y'all. Yeah. <laughs>
lot so <clears throat> so this is what it looks like right now it isn't <laughs> necessarily straight but it's good and y'all these are very good quality stickers y'all like this is not coming off unless it's unless you're like intentionally trying to scrape it off um like i said please get a ruler and some duct tape to level it out you know but for right now this is good if need be if i have to fix it i will but this is pretty good um as you guys can see it is really big so it's just as big as you need it it's a little like i said <laughs> i'm mad that it's not straight but i am eyeballing it but like i said uh if if it becomes an issue i i you know i will reapply but um yeah, so I'm choosing to put mine right underneath the door handle. Now I think about it, I should just put it like in the middle, but I don't want to take that risk since I don't have no duct tape. So I'm kind of using this as my guideline, I guess you can say. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll show you guys the finished product when I have it on both sides of the truck. So I'll come back when I'm done with all that. All right, guys, so this is the finishing product. This side is probably a little bit better. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I do have some bubbles in here. I don't know why. I don't know why this that uh that O was being so difficult. But this is the finishing product. Um, show you guys the other side real quick. So boom, that's basically all that it is. Honestly, um, it's probably not the best job, but at least it's up there <laughs> we won't get no problems with the DOT and yeah so right there you get it right from Walmart show you guys again this is the brand high co and it's actually really good um, adhesive too like the only way you're getting that off is if you're scraping it off you know But yeah, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, if you guys, um, you can always order. Oh my gosh, this truck is dirty and I'm wearing all white. Hold up, y'all. Um, you can always order your, your, uh, on some, like online, you can, uh, customize your vinyl sticker. So it could just all be one big sticker, which probably easiest. But like I said, I went this route because technically it is cheaper a lot of the vinyl stickers i saw they're by the way the vinyl stickers are affordable no matter what um probably if you were to go get it wrapped that's probably where it's going to get expensive at but you can order a vinyl sticker and like actually type out you know your business and they're going to have it formatted for you all nice and neat and you just put the whole sticker on the truck um, i was going to go that route but like i said i didn't want to wait for it in the mail when i could just go up to wally world Walmart buy a pack of stickers and apply it myself like I said I was supposed to I had this all thought out I was gonna get a measuring tape and duct tape to make it nice and neat but I couldn't find it and I didn't want to waste no time finding it yes I know pure laziness but I mean it, it's good for what it is um, like I said uh, it lets you know in the back of these stickers how much of each number and letter you will need so um, if your DOT number involves one of each number or something like that um maybe one pack will work for you for me i had to get two um but yeah these are very inexpensive so if i later in life if i am bothered by how that looks i can always just buy another pack and do it right the first time you know have everything planned out like how i wanted to do but yeah y'all that's basically uh my installation video um like i said all you need on on your truck honestly is your dot number and your mc number the company name the address that's all um that's not mandatory at all um another thing that i have to do that i well i don't think i have to do it but i want to do it is i'm going to put the vehicle gross weight on the side of the on the side of the truck as well i don't know if we have to as far as uh the dot compliance but i'm going to do that personally uh for my own preference but um yeah y'all make sure to like subscribe leave a comment below um yeah
Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.